doing Batman, the Telltale series, The Enemy Within. So this is season two. We can see where our story continues. I'm hoping there's gonna be a season three soon. Okay, so I'm gonna have to change uh, my audio so you guys can actually hear me. And then display subtitles. Yep. Alright. Continue my story. Um, okay. Import save one. Your backstory. Okay. So, the Enigma, episode one. One of Gotham's oldest and deadliest criminals has returned. Batman must work with allies, old and new, to stop this growing threat. Let's get into it. go with red again got a new suit as well everybody Game series um, adapts the choices you made in the toilet story in the by how you my play. My parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes. Their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman. Yep. They would not be the last. Ooh. Jesus. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, as to the public partnership between the police and the Batman, he praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter comes the thaw. We all now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Durrago. Durrago, Lucky probably. 13! There it is, my Rumi Mori. Import export magnet, one time Pipex CEO, international arms dealer. The world sees Maury as a legitimate businessman, a philanthropist who gives to charity, not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence, a masterful performance. I wonder if a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. Okay, who I am, you can become the role. 
No, okay, I don't. Where I, am. I never forget what drives me. Protecting the innocent from people like Mori. That stays the same no matter what mask I wear. Don't I know? Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Mori's, we'll find them. The GCPD Contacts. already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Mori is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. Well, looks like Roulette is his Achilles heel. He has a reputation for being lucky. But then you don't need luck when you own the house. Hotel security are guarding him particularly close. A man like Mori counts more enemies than friends. I wonder why that is. He certainly enjoys the good life, doesn't he? Made a fortune running guns during the Arab Spring. Diversified into biotech shortly after. From what I understand, he is not one for pinching pennies. Consumer model. Could be a good way to hear Maury's conversation. Al, I'm hacking into Maury's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a bad... He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier You know, my tight looking for a thrill. I'm looking for something different. New thrills. Well, it's a good thing you're here. And it's a good thing I'm here. Nope, nine. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Mori. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Is something wrong? You seem distracted. Bruce. Come with Stay me. close and keep your head down. Excuse me? Bullets are about to fly. Okay. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap. Let's go. <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is, are you dead? Yeah. Jesus. Now, let's get started. Get out of there. Get your suit. Let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. You can try it, buddy. Very <laughs> swaying. Man, 
knocking him out like that. How did you do that? I had a different impression of you from TV. You never seemed that... I'm a man of many capable. talents. Yeah, I'm a man of many talents. That's... that's an understatement. Thank you. Commissioner Gordon on the line, scrambling audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Okay. Load a load a loading. Please, please, we can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I'd choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this! Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone fully functional. I'm not gonna please to drop in with mess around noticed. and look around. Time for some recon. Uh, everything. He's one, about this it? man's about a to lose his fingers. Scratches at the hostages. very nature. Riddler's taking hostages. Like I say that. Innocent bystanders. And they're clearly not his main target. Must be an insurance policy. Around like a rat in your skull. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. I know. Remember, audio playback fully functional. Got it. It'll be that much harder to count your blood money. What the? Don't think you can just stall. I will get bored. Hello. You won't like that. I'm losing patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman! We can't get in. The front's covered by gunmen and... They've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? We guess. need a distraction. Find a way to limit their line of sight. Sounds like a plan. You're completely insane! No. I don't believe that's it. Oh. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. At least we have our gadgets again. Rope stand. Boom. Batman! You're ahead of schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! This is new. Oh. 
punch. Come here, Riddler. Okay. Damn it. Hi, bats. Hi. That man clearly isn't using his head. Break it open. With pleasure. You can try. I moved down there, but okay. Boom. Shock him. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since, well, since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. Oh. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you, I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair, eating my goddamn porridge. This is my city. Now I'm back. You don't know me, Riddler. You have no idea what you're up against. You must think you're so special. You're not the first hero I've put down. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely at my mercy. Gordon, no! I don't... to be kidding bunch clever but not smart enough That's close let me show you how it was done back in the Whoa. day you're not doing very okay I think my gloves are gonna do a lot more damage than flex. <laughs> Brawling like a common street hood. It just doesn't do it for me. Now you get back here. Hello. You broke the cage. That's cheating. Think I care about your rules. I'd heard you were a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Maury made his money running guns, trading off the suffering I of war. In justice. I believe in justice. Maury deserves a trial in a court of law. If he's guilty, his cell will be right next to yours. Justice? Ridiculous. Either way, you won't be the one to put me there. You sure about that? You're the one with the bloody nose. Get out of here, Riddle. Like, literally, you are getting destroyed. Bye! Woo! Okay. All round house. Boom. Enough of this. You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. Uh, 
Oh no. Yep. Got it. Boom. I'm literally Spider-Man at this point. You should have oh, called no. us before going in, Gordon. It's Amanda Warlock. Yep. After all, we're here to help. Scan first. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, bat freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, Earth. yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads! Tell me all about it, down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody? Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. He's arrogant, he never met me. got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. That's because he hadn't met me. That's for damn sure. You don't know how glad I am you're here, working with the police. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way. I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. I've heard a great deal about you. I don't like so her. much so, I don't know if and I should believe are. the hype. And you are. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler... Never heard of you. Good they're kind of our here. specialty. Sounds like the expertise we need. Keep that attitude and we'll get along just fine. We're not always welcomed with open arms. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly, and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention the city's corrupt mayor, Dent. I work with Gordon. No one else. I appreciate loyalty. But that there... That's the issue. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation... We got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. 
You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? You can't put this on Jim. I call for a distraction. Then maybe you're not as impressive as I thought. Exactly. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent Iman Avesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. He wanted a uh... I heard them talking about some kind of deal. Any idea what? No. But it'd be safe to say they didn't come to terms. Thanks. That's a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos, the energy. I don't like what you're insinuating. Uh, of course, I... Keep your pop's psych evaluations to Riddler and stay out of my head. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to pry. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know I don't have to play nice. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is going to become something you really won't like. Grapple away. What an eventful evening. I have taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. Can't That's go cool. wrong with the classics. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. No explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. Oh, Alfred. It... it comes and goes. Ever 
since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. No, I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Your family, Alfred. We worry about family. Thank you, Bruce. It'll pass. Working always helps. Okay. Agency files. The agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, that man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried. Wall seems dangerous, they're going to make About losing well. our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. Well, things won't be easy with a bunch of spies nearby. They're well-equipped spies, too. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to talk to Lucius about upgrades. Try and level the playing field. I kind of want to back out and just see what's around, you know? Let's have a look, see, shall we? Ah, it's our previous suits. The suit has held up remarkably well so far. <laughs> In spite of everything you put it through. My suit always takes a lot of damage, but still does what it's supposed to. Hide my identity, intimidate, intimidate criminals and keep me alive. This is an older model of Lucius Fox design. I had to revert to it after my back to was damaged in the fight with Lady of um, Lady Arkham. It's not as advanced, but that's good. I never want to be relying on technology. Anchor, I can't be, uh, I can't be everywhere at once, but this design makes it easy to take care of business from across the room with a that business is rest, um, resting weapons or armor away from criminals um, or stopping something heavy from falling on bystanders. Bat suit. My suit always takes a lot of damage, but it still does what it is supposed to hide my identity. Into yeah, it's the same thing. Grapple gun. This um, gun allows me to. Uh, me essential freedom around the city whether that's from building to building or straight up from a crowd of enemies. Batarangs. A few of these can clear out a room full of gunmen. Heavy, sleek and extremely sharp. Smoke grenades. These grenades create a smoke screen that confuses enemies and allows me to hide striking from the shadows. Stunner, this device can stop a criminal cold with a powerful electric shock. It's flappy and unsubtle, um, but it's guaranteed to incapacitate a target no matter their size. Okay. Guess that's all. Yep. Let's go have a look at this memorabilia. Vicky Vale, A.K. Lady Arkham, a victim of my father, and the children of Arkham, to destroy Gotham's elite and defeated her. Um, I defeated her, but I don't know if she's alive or dead. Her body was never found. Penguin, Oswald Copperpot, revolutionary. 
Oswald Cobblepot was a terrorist anarchist and my oldest friend born to one of Gotham's most prestigious families. He lived abroad um, after his mother was committed to Arkham Asylum by my father. He returned to Gotham to join the children of Arkham seeking revenge on my family to, or for destroying his... Two-Face Harvey Dent, corrupt mayor of Gotham. Harvey Dent was um, once a promising um, mayoral candidate um, and one of my closest friends. I supported his campaign and his vision for Gotham. After he was attacked by the children of Arkham, he became Two-Face, a violent and deeply paranoid criminal. During his brief stint as mayor, he used his authority to enforce martial law throughout the city. Catwoman, Selina Kyle, Thief for High. Selina Kyle came to Gotham to perform a number of robberies for the children of Arkham, though she eventually helped me to stop them. She left Gotham during Lady Arkham's final assault on the city, and I don't know whether she's ever she'll ever return. Despite our differences, I enjoyed sparring with her. Hmm, <laughs> you did more than sparring with her, Bruce. Okay, now let's get to work. Alright, or not, Bruce? Let's have a look at the Riddler's files. Yes. Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden. To get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. You're getting soft, Alfred. There's only one way to treat creeps like Riddler. And believe oh, me, uh, it's yeah. not therapy. Well, in I this one case, that. Bruce, I'll concede your methods might be more appropriate. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. Let's look at the codex. I'll do some reading. James Gordon, over the past year my partnership with Jim has flourished. I finally won his trust and Gotham City is a better place for it. Batman used to um, be hidden in the shadows, but Jim has helped me step into the light and find legitimacy for that. I'm grateful. I think Jim is finally settling into his new role as police commissioner. It's been a difficult transition, um, and I don't think he will ever be comfortable with the tragic way he received his promotion. But I must, um, but I trust he will use the his newfound authority to make this city a better place. Gotham is lucky to have him, and so am I. I couldn't ask for a better partner. Renee Montoya, things are looking up for Gordon's favorite True Bloom. Pop. Renee Montoya was recently promoted to promoted to detective as she was she was exonerated. Ex exonerated of um, the murder of Fa Carmine Falcone 
It was evidence I provided that um, proves she was under the influence of Lady Arkham's drugs when she committed the crime. I admire Renee's dedication to the law enforcement um, and fierce loyalty to Jim. It's evident that she lived um, for her work, often at the cost um, of her personal life. Sounds like we both. Lucius Fox. There would be no Batman without Lucius Fox in a sense. He's built me. From Batsuit to Batmobile. Everything I am, everything I've become, I owe to him. Brilliant engineer and trusted and um, Lucius is one of the few people I depend on um, on this in this world even. In addition to being Wayne Enterprise's technological leader, I've entrusted him to secret R&D wing where he designs and develops new bat tech. Oh my god this Alfred Pennyworth once more. Okay, I'm not my father's son, I'm Alfred. After my mother and father were murdered, he's the one who did all the hard work of raising me. It couldn't have been easy for him, making sure he installed the right values and steered me away from um, the vices of my father. Steadfast, true, compassionate Alfred knows me better than anyone. Certainly better than I know myself. He's my moral compass and my best friend. Last year, he was kidnapped by Lady Arkham. I'm still riddled with guilt over what happened. I just hope he can recover from his emotional trauma of, of the ordeal. All I want for him to be is happy and healthy again. Amana Vesta. It was a special agent, Amana Vesta, who handed me the psychological profile on, Vid uh, on Riddler. Um, I don't know that much about her, other than that she's a Gotham native and seems to have a confidence of Amanda Waller. She's also a huge fan of the Batman, which is somewhat relieving. Maybe I can use that to my advantage in further dealings with the agency. Amanda Waller, long one again. Actually, no, it's just two par uh, the two paragraphs. I got my first glimpse at Amon Amanda Waller's outside at the casino. Um, after the Riddler's grisly attack on Rumi Mori, a former congressional uh, aide and political science PhD, Amanda Waller's irre irre irrepressible ambition has shot her straight at the top of the government's top covert law enforcement organization, the agency. She has re recently um, been proved to regional director with a ju jurisdiction that spans the entire northern eastern United States, including Gotham City. Gotham doesn't like her uh, Gordon doesn't like her. That much is clear. Under understandable, she's a force of um, nature who's threatening his turf. I just wish I knew more about her intentions towards Gotham. She seems um, like she could be a powerful friend, but even more powerful than an energy. Jim Blake, of his terse partner, I met him. Not much to say about him at the moment. The Riddler. The Riddler is en enough. That when that even Carmine Falcone made this wanted by Interpol and um, hunted by the agency, the Riddler's modus operandi is to torture, torture and kill his marks before facing, um, forcing them to solve a macabre riddles. His macabre riddles. According to the agency's profile on him, Riddler's got a genius level IQ and exhibits signs of narcissistic and obsessive compulsive personality disorders. He's cruel, calculating and merciless and I will bring him down. Rumi Mori. Um, there are two sides to Rumi Mori. The face he shows to the public and the person he, um, he really is. The person he keeps in the shadows, hidden from the praying the uh, prying, prying eyes of polite society. Mori wants everyone to believe he's a model citizen. He paints his public persona with philanthropy. 
can't say it, and a seemingly legitimate business empire. But take a closer look behind the mask, and you'll catch a glimpse of the real Rumi Mori, war profiteer and murderer. He made his fortune running guns during the Arab, stri uh, Arab Spring, and soon after diversified into high-tech weaponry. Of course, Mori's elect il elect activities have never been proven in a court of law. Riddler had some burn to pick with Mori. Perhaps that's why he targeted him at the Ferrago. That's not surprising. A man like um, man like that would have enemies. I would. I wonder how he made one of the Riddler. The agency, one of the nation's most clandestine national security organizations, the agency operates in the darkest shadows of the criminal justice system. Not much is known about their day-to-day -day operations, but a little information I can dig up about them is that the agency's influence is awe-inspiring, stretching across international borders and reaching the highest echelons of political power. Thomas Wayne, my father, and possibly the worst criminal in this city has ever known. Thomas Wayne. I only thought I, he was a hero, a man who died trying to protect my mother and I from a bullet that's a common crook. From a common... Of a common crook, I was wrong. I found out the truth about my father not long ago. He wasn't a philanthropic um, doctor. He pretended to be. He was a monster who amassed our family's wealth by drugging and gaslighting Gotham's wealthiest families and robbing them of their fortunes. He devastated fam um, lives and destroyed minds. To rob someone of their sanity is one of the worst things you can do to a person. I would know Lady Arkham robbed me of mine as recompense for my father's sins. I hope that debt is, repay is paid. I want nothing more to leave his dark legacy in the past. Martha Wayne, my mother, uh, the unsung hero. I witnessed her and my father's assassination when I just, when I was just a child. My memories of her are few and far between, but I cherish each one. She was the one who was going to blow the whistle on my father, stop him once and for all, but they, um, they were murdered before she could expose him. Joe was a hitman sent by Mayor Hill to keep their scheme, their, yes, scheme from being exposed. My mother is saving, is my saving grace, even that, uh, everything that is good in me, I inherited from her. Gotham City, population 10.5 million. Gotham City is more than a hometown. It's my pr passion project. Um, when I look into onto the skyline, I don't see a city. I see a living thing. Breathing organism. A living, breathing organism that keeps evolving, adapting to new threats. I must adapt with it. The criminals in this place attracts are no... Um, the criminals this place attracts are no different... There are a time when you all had to worry about was wise guys and street thugs, but crime too has evolved. The crime rate uh, might be down, but the villains are becoming more and more bizarre, more terrifying. Sometimes I think crime is a virus that keeps mutating into more virulent, virulent strains and the city is sick with it. I'll let Batman be the cure. Arkham Asylum, established November 1921, Gotham City Maximum Security Psychiatric Hospital. I was committed to Arkham and I and was incited to attack Oswald Cobblepot. So this place doesn't exactly hold the best memories for me. That's uh, reason I'm renovating it once outdated and dip di dilapidated dilapidated Anna Wayne Enterprises has promised to bring his uh, this en en antiquated asylum 
into the 21st century by turning it into a state-of-the-art mental health facility. Wayne Enterprises established 1870, multi-national um, co cooperation founded by ancestors covering all manner of technology, manufacturing and finance. I inherited a major stake from my parents and have recently become more involved in its day-to-day -day operations. So far, so good. Stocks um, are up. Wayne Enterprises R&D development is developing some pretty exciting new technologies. <gasps> Crime Island Park Road, Gotham City. Um, the squalid downtown of um, Alley, where my parents were assassinated. The street c across from Monarch Theatre is the place child um, my childhood ended and the rest of my life began violently. I installed a plaque there to honor my parents before I knew the truth about uh, of my father's criminality. <sighs> the GCPD is Gotham's first line of defense against criminals, both mundane and bizarre. When mobster Carmine Falcone was in power, he kept at least half of the force in his pocket, but not all of them. James Gordon was one of a um, few he couldn't corrupt. Since Falcone and Mayor Hill have t were taken down, Gordon was, um, has worked to clean up the corruption in the department. Crime rates have fallen dramatically since Gordon took over the police commissioner role. Since Wayne Enterprises pledged to rebuild Arkham Asylum, the GCPD has worked closely with the facility to determine which criminals should go to Arkham for rehabilitation and which belong in Blackgate Prison. There we go, that's all of them. We've got not that many left. I don't know what Gotham feed is. Gotham Citizen Support GCPD Batman Partnership. Despite some heavy criticism from elected officials, the Gotham City Police Department's public partnership with the mass vigilante known as Batman has been rousing success with the city's population. Across the board, crime um, in Gotham City limits has been down for the previous year, with violent crime sitting a record low, though some on the city council have raised concerns about Batman's hidden identity and his operation outside the restrictions of the law. It doesn't appear to be hurting public opinion. I don't care who he is. I don't care if he uh, that he makes things safer," said grocery store um, owner Wayne Barton, um, whose business has been has seen a 50% spike in sales after dark in recent months. Council gain. Rich and sympathetic, sympathetic um, to business owners like Barton, but she maintains until we know who this Batman is. I don't think we can ever be truly safe. Wayne Enterprises stock hits a new record high by Mark Phillips. Wayne Enterprises stock hits a record high of one twenty dollars. Um, Per share today during afternoon trading, surpassing its previous high of $115 um, per share of a, over a year ago. The record high is the latest event in the company's recent hot stake since Bruce Wayne returned to the company to the company as CEO last year, following the brief ouster. Wayne was removed from CEO position last year. And replaced with Oswald Cobblepot in a move that resulted in Wayne's publicly assaulting Cobblepot and briefly admitted to Arkham Asylum. Wayne has since claimed the assault was a side effect of a drug injection in the hands of former Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, who conducted criminal business under the name the Ar Lady Arkham. Um, don't try. Date pushed back again by Kate Clark. A federal judge has delayed the start of former Go um, Gotham Mayor's Gotham's Mayor Harvey Dent's criminal trial by several more months following the departure of the defendant's entire legal team. The team, led by attorney Brandon Hoffman, 
announced that um, announced they were rec rec recusing themselves um, in the pre-trial hearing on Monday morning. Instead, Dent, who previously served as Gotham's district attorney, has insisted on representing himself in the trial. In the statement in court, Hoffman said, "I no longer feel." I can defend Mr. Wayne, uh, Mr. Dent to the best of my ability. Judge Harriet Stokes then moved to delay the trial two more months while Dent prepared his case. Um, this is the fourth delay to the trial and third set of attorneys to part ways with Dent who is f facing multiple charges of murders, criminal negligence and fraud. He's not only facing those charges, he's also got two faces. Gazette Investigation, what is the agency? This will be important. Um, by Julia Martens. It seems Batman is no longer the most mysterious crime fighter in the streets of Gotham City these days. Multiple sources from law enforcement have confirmed that the Gazette, that a mysterious government entirely known, in, in entity known as the agency, has been conducting operations in the city recently. On the record, there is no evidence of any federal crime fighting organization by the na this name, but many sources who have requested an animosity, any anonymity, anonymous probably thing, um, have confirmed that the agency has been present at several recent crime scenes and exerted considerable authority. I have no idea who these people are, but when they show up, they are in charge, one officer said. They act like they know what they're doing, but with nowhere to check the tr their track, I guess we have to take them at their word. Okay, officials say Cobblepot model prisoner by Julia Martin. A stark contrast with the ongoing saga of Harvey Dent's legal battle, former Wayne Enterprises CEO and convicted demo domestic terrorist Oswald Cobblepot is a model prisoner at Blackgate Prison. The man who briefly aligned himself with the terrorist organization, the Children of Arkham, pleaded guilty to all charges against him in the earlier year. He was sentenced to 40 years to be served in Blackgate, observers and legal experts were surprised at Cobblepot's decision to forego a hearing in court, but from all accounts, he appeared to be enjoying his new life in jail. We don't know how bad things to say. We don't have any a bad thing to say about him, said one Black, uh, Blackgate guard who wished to remain anonymous. You get to talking to him and he's actually pretty charming he's super smart okay we got this then let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about solve my puzzle soon or people will get hurt well, Riddler's MO hasn't changed in all these years yep and journey, 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 journey. Uh, push down. And journey, journey, journey again. And there's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. Uh, I have a the needle. Eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. Record player. Why has it got an exclamation? Ah, Selena. Again? She'll turn up again. I'm looking forward to it. 
Oh, so that's for if he. Yeah, he can talk. Ah. Needle. A record needle. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound. What? It's very oh, it's, uh, irritating. I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter, working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Town. Good hunting, Bruce. New game in town. Trophy earned. Oh, excellent. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and our stock price has doubled since you took the company back from Oswald Cobblepot. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? None of your Seems business. Like an odd thing to be carrying uh -uh. around the office. Why, Regina? You're prying. Sorry, I didn't mean to overstep. Forget I asked. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... Oh, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of... Okay. Huh. Good Any to idea do this what again. he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Micropulse waveform. Huh, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. It's not one of mine. Think fast. Hi, Dad. 
Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. Tip my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. But you're so hard to know what to get a man who has everything. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... Unbelievably the, badass. Uh, the word you're looking for is... Badass. Um, no. That is uh. definitely not what I meant. I'm the resident badass around here. Thank you very much. <laughs> you just said that out loud. Uh, see, Bruce? It's her first day, and I'm already embarrassing her. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. Something your dad has been working on. Lucius, care to explain? Oh, it's nothing. Just an old piece of tech that found its way into my lab. But what does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? He would love that. I hope he isn't still angered with me and Luke about that incident with the China. Well, you know, Al, no one messes with his dinnerware. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. Well, if she's anything like you... She's better than me. Okay, then let's give her a shot. Great. I'll start thinking about how we can broach the subject with her. In the meantime, Riddler's puzzle will be a fine start. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. See you later, Lucius. Good chat. Oh, yeah. One of the best. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. I sure hope I'm not in any trouble. Oh, everyone's in some amount of trouble. <laughs> it's my job to find out just how much.
This office, it really represents you. Well, I'd like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. Yet yeah. you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. How's it going down there? I, uh, left that file on your desk. Think you could bring it down? I'll be down in just a second. Sorry about that. What were you saying? I was saying you're a bit of a mystery. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been the tracking him for months, yeah. but haven't been able to find him. Riddler? That psycho from the news? <laughs> I thought you'd be interested, considering your history. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You helped the GCPD capture Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin. Mm -hmm. He was a terrorist, a member of the Children of Arkham, and your friend. Childhood friend. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. But criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at Come the wrong time. Target. Yes, having money and fame makes you an easy target. I've had my fair share of crazies knocking on my door. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were uh, close. John, John might may very so. well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. I got out of there as fast as I could. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for, what, a day? Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see... We've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. <laughs> and your point is what exactly, that I'm... Some kind of criminal mastermind. Or just really unlucky. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. <sighs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. Might still be able to disable it, but you just hold tight, Lucius. I'm coming down to help. It's too late for that. 
tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. It was just... We really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius! Lucius! No! Lucius! No! No! Lucius is gone. Goodbye, old friend. One killed and 14 Trophy injured end. after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is tower. opening an investigation Access into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. It's been a, a week. service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. Aw. Lucius. I miss you, old friend. You were always there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. He was a good man. To lose him like this, it's, it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing, but this, this is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations. I'll put him behind us. I will find him and bring him to justice. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm glad to see your sense of duty still reigns supreme. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be. To lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> yeah. I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. <sighs> Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. <laughs> that, uh... Sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. Just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. Hardly anything left. <laughs> what were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. 
What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hi, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. grateful you you knew my father well no but whoa whoa what the heck seriously bruce this guy's with you i'm so sorry i will handle this jeez bruce that's quite a grip gonna leave a bruise for sure what are you doing here i told you i'd see you again didn't i you and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see. People get upset at the littlest things. It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. You're so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross. How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband. A leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz, and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I give you my word, didn't I? I'll stand by it. I knew. The moment we met, friends for life. You see, I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends, made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce, that special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you, of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. You are the best part, Lucius. You will meet them for me, won't you? 
Please, I've, I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't force this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Put that away. This is a funeral, for God's sake. I, I'm sorry. I got so caught up in it all, I completely forgot. I just know you're gonna hit it off with the guys. I should warn you, though. I've got an enemy. Real oh, who is work. it? Calls himself oh. the Riddler. Common enemy. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. <laughs> I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised if I ever get my hands on him. I will tear him apart. Oh, you don't know how glad that makes me, Bruce. You and me, we've got the same taste in people. If I had... My way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. His hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. No, okay. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts Let's his appreciate head down. that. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later. Like I asked. Will do. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm I'm just gonna slip away. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Yeah. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Oh, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. A friend in need trophy end. Enjoying the view. Yeah, hard to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier. But when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Yeah, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spend some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Wayne has a talent for finding himself in the crosshairs. Uh, you can say that again. 
You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not given up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. <laughs> Looks like gang activity's heating up along 43rd. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Yeah, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. construction site at the center of 46th. Abandoned. Harvey's boys demolished that area, chasing the children of Arkham. There's nothing but a crater there. Not really a place for Riddler to have a hideout. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Nice work, Batman. Hey, if this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. Puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to get her man. It doesn't sit right You've with me. You've got a good heart. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you were the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate your saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Uh, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. Notify Waller. She's proven useful so far. Just be careful around her, huh? She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. <laughs> I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll have my people call her people on the way. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come not. And do the disappearing act that time. East End, 6.35 p.m. I told Waller about our lead on this place. She's caught up in briefings, can't get here for a while. She said she appreciates the cooperation. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Scrapbook. Vain, isn't he? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Damn it! It's. it's stuck! No way to open it from the inside. Then how do we get out? We go in. After you. And give me a good, honest crack house any day.
God. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. Yep. One of his pupils is fully dilated, the other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock or a sudden jolt. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. Ugh. One shoe is missing. The sole of the other one's almost completely melted through. He's missing oh. parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. All right, detective time. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? Won't budge. Must be locked in place. The glass. It's polarized. So it is. Mm. facial feature the senses they're missing their senses like the monkey statues you're right there must be a connection there are bleeds inside and a lot of blood huh we know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers Safes with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. Mm. Mm. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. One shoe, melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. Yep. I'm starting to sense a theme here. That's an agency issue pistol. That's a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. Take a look at this. Huh. 
Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find... I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now, how is that for motivation? Screw you! He had the agent bound while he beat him. So this is a polarized lens, so that will go to that, door so you closed, actually see something. The portal would be looking right at those monitors. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Mm -hmm. That's where it gets... tricky. So the missing fingers are with the... The thing. agent must have been looking the for the answer at one of these safes. Chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently, they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. So what it says is stick to the plan from H. E, what's Edward? For someone so smart, you sometimes act real stupid. Those resources were not for your crackpot feud with Batman. You knew um, that you went ahead anyway. All you gain with your games um, is attention, which we really don't want right now. Stick to the plan, or we'll have to make changes. He sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mari for a while now. She must have known. So what it says is you win from Rumi Mori. Alright, I'll take the deal just um just so long as you stay away from my family. You can pick the the product at the usual place. I'll remind you that um, I've complete, um, I've complied with all your respects up to this point after the transaction went done. So the other email was Harley. I was just seeing it wrong. I recognize Otherwise. some of the names on this list. And the fence, uh, They're Randall all Waller's Waller. people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. Targets. First, we have to get out of here. That will be for the heated floor. The floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. You got a VR in that cow or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. Alright. 
so it would have gone from the chair to the box. The agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. Then he took a shoe off. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. Then he got his fingers cut off. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beelined for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bad okay, suit's armor let us... is heat resistant. You could have let us He'll finish the more sentence. Time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Any mistake could be my last. I won't be able to do this without you, Joe. Well, when you put it like that, let's win this game. Yeah. Toasty. Toasty. I think the controller's died. Come on! I'm not letting you cook in there. Uh, well, it'd be nice if it'd let me turn it. You can literally hear me doing it. I burn. Of course, it didn't turn. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. Any mistake could be my last. Yeah, we know that, because apparently Batman loses well, the way to move his like arms. That. Let's win this game. Okay, toasty again. It's rising, Batman. It's doing it again. Do I need to like charge my controller or something? Yeah, it's not. It's not letting me do it. I'm gonna have to restart, and I. Oh, you absolute jerk! Glitch! Glitch, everybody! I have to go back into it now. Glitch. <sighs> it's cold. Okay, please, 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 please let me turn it this time. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. 
Any mistake could be my last. I won't be able to do this without you, Joe. Well, when you put it like that, let's win this game. Okay. Look at it first, then doing it. see trouble and one tells no lies. Ask the third if he hides the prize. The monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Now, damn it. It's still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. At least we know now. Let's test it out, shall we? The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! That one, Bruce. Surprised he didn't get that. That's actually pretty. Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe better be worth it's all this missile. pain. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. The one that we had. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up. Why are you doing this, Riddler? Haven't you killed enough? I have a lot of enemies, Batman. While they're still breathing, I still have work to do. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government enemy. scum in your corner. Whatever it Stopping you is all I care about. I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> we'll see. Just know that there's a cost to doing business. The agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The agency made me. No, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. I don't feel so. Save your sob story for jail. I'm not interested. You think I want sympathy? This is my city. I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, 
Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. I would never give up an innocent life. Not even to save my own. <laughs> That's not what it looks like from here. Gordon doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost. Isn't it, Commissioner? Come on now. Don't get your tights oh, in a twist. No. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! This is absolute getting chills. I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. Okay. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency? Smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower? You got a level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? I would. Lucius Fox was an ally of mine. That got him killed. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you, it doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? You're acting like we're Am I just supposed to something. sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? Whatever you do, this has to stay between us. Oh, does it? Because I, what, just happened to stumble into it? I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. If you really think it's important this stays between us, then I won't say a word. Batman. I'm sorry for your loss. Made of madness, trophy earned. I heard your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are, were, allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he'll react. He looked me straight in the eye, Alfred. He's been our friend a long time. He deserves to know. I understand that, Bruce, but he's still too close for comfort. I'm sorry, but he is. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a launch signal. Dear God, you did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. We still have you. And we still have each other. I won't always be here, Bruce. 
Uh, I'm sorry. Losing Lucius in such gruesome fashion, it puts me in rather a morbid mood. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. He's had this. I'm going to link it too. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. Oh, whoa! And he can broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've they never can't. been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. Actually, Al, I'm gonna do this part on my own. Why don't you, uh, why don't you get us some tea while we work? Well, if you insist, Bruce. Even if he did do it, by the way, he would just walk off anyways, so it doesn't make any difference. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius. We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? All right. Now I just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal. And then match up the points found in both sound files. The two sounds have to be the same. Bruce! Dwayne? I still think I'm on the wrong track. I'm accidentally not looking no, at the, the bottom. Like I'm looking at the for top to one. And I see Bruce, so I'm like, Bruce. Oh, that's it. Enterprise, Tower, Bruce, Bruce. Bruce. The waveforms match. Tiffany. 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 That's a match. There. I've piggybacked onto Riddler's cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating the launch. Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately, but with a signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That Bruce John guy Jean. from the funeral, from Arkham. Who actually so. sounds like he's keeping his word. Got another lead though. Rumi Mori arms dealer. 
Why Mori? Mori, huh? Why would Mori know where he is? Mori, Mori shipped um, to Riddler knows his address. He's on Riddler's John thinks kill that list Mori now, can get so us Riddler's like location. Do you believe him? All right, Maybe gotta go. Good luck, buddy. Back to the beginning. Winky face. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? This is a Batman and Bruce thing. Riddler's lieutenant. Eli Nabel. Took a go at me in the casino. Put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. On the other hand... Maury's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. Peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. So Waller will be more mad if you go to Mori. And Gordon will also be mad if we go there. I've done Mori in my playthrough. So I think I'll talk gonna to go Eli. Eli. It'll be nice to catch up. Tell Waller I'm on my way. Bats, where's your helmet? Is he going as Bruce or something? Alfred's like, you fucking idiot, you forgot your helmet. I hope you have a spare, Bruce. Very comic-y. Just waiting in the elevator, Bruce. Hello. Oh, I mean, Batman. To ask someone a Gordon's in briefing the deputy ops. I'm sure he'd want to know you were here. Waller's agency people commandeered the whole precinct. Pretty much moved in. They give you any trouble, I'll straighten them out. Running around like they own the place. They got no respect for the way we do things. You have Eli Nabel in custody. Take me to him. Nabel's my prisoner, not hers. Says who? Four of my agents went missing, including Agent Avesta. I don't have time for a pissing contest. Your agents are missing? We believe Riddler took them. If the body you found in his workshop is anything to go by, I... We don't have much time. Riddler warned us the last time we nearly caught him in Sudan. Said he'd hit back if we got too close. Sounds like you need my help. If it gets my people back, then sure. Riddler's lieutenant hasn't given us a damn thing. I'm hoping you'll have better luck making him talk. That's why I I'm will. here. Come on, then. Okay. Just remember, Thanks, Walla. the commissioner likes things by the book. Gordon told me you talked to Riddler in the workshop. You say anything I should know? Your agency, nothing worth mentioning, did you? Riddler said he had a history with the agency. Claims your people broke him, made him insane. That maniac was insane long before he came on my radar. He implied it was before your time. He can tell me all about it after Nabel gives him up. You know, I saw what you did to Carmine Falcone last year. Dangling a 60-year-old man off a high-rise was certainly effective. You ask me, you could have gone further. I could What's have, your but point? I wouldn't have. Because that Use was any means necessary. As long as you get Nabel to tell us where Riddler is. Gordon would want us to keep this clean. By the book. We tried the book. It's time for something a little more visceral.
Meet your new interrogator, Eli. I believe you two have met before. Get up and get in that goddamn chair. Probably best to keep this off the record. Unless you prefer me to leave it on. Keep it off. Need anything else? I'm good. Work with me, Eli. Maybe I can help you in return. I'm so, so glad you're here. These people, they ain't cops. They ran the cops off. But I heard about you. you you'll keep them, you keep her from killing me. Yeah. Riddler said you had rules oh. against that. Against killing. I do. He's right about that, Eli. I don't deserve this. What do you deserve? I don't know. A lawyer? A, a trial? Basic human rights? Then tell me where he is. I... I can't. We don't have time for Karen's Batman. Only thing moving this mule is a big old stick. You get me? You've already tortured him enough. What makes you think hitting him again will get results? I just assumed you'd hit him harder. Is your call? Just remember, the clock is ticking. Where is he, Eli? I already said I can't tell you. And I said it a million times to the guys before. The only thing I'm more scared of than dying is pissing him off. Mm. You've seen his machines? He can hurt you in ways they don't got names for. Riddler just dabbles in pain, Eli. I've turned pain into an art form. You don't understand! Riddler has a plan that no one can stop. You can't beat him. He studied you too well. And the agency? <laughs> they don't have a chance. He can destroy them anytime he wants with a phone call. He's talking about the signal, Bruce. He has no idea you protected the agent's phones. There's no one that can save me if I cross him. I blocked the agency cells, Eli. They won't work as targets. How do you know about that? I'm smarter than Riddler. It makes no difference. There's no getting away from him. He could be anywhere with his signal. Bruce, his fear of Riddler is too great. You have to get in his head somehow. There's nothing you can do, Batman. We'll see about that. Wait, is that? That signal! You're calling a missile right to us! You got 90 seconds, Eli. Talk. Batman, shut that thing off right now! You're... you're insane! You'll kill us all! It's counting down, Eli. What are you going to do about it? You're bluffing. There's cops outside this door. You're gonna get us all killed! Maybe. Maybe not. But are you bluffing. willing to He's take the chance? He's just recreating. He's just... turned them off properly somehow. I'll tell you! Please, just, just make it stop. He's on a ship in Gotham Bay. What ship? Uh, the Lady of Dublin. The missiles are there, too. This is where they're launched from. There you go. All nice and dandy. You're crazier than he is. Oh, exactly. Oh, god damn.
the Lady of Dublin. Get back up and meet me there. Batman. Gordon's still gonna be pissed you went around him. But I appreciate you holding back. They earned too much, I couldn't do anymore. Whoops, that was my foot, I swear. That was actually my foot. That sounds really suspicious, but it's my foot. Lady of Dublin, there it is. Armed men on board. This must be it. Be careful, Bruce. I like how he's using that. Who knows what the Riddler time. has up his sleeve? And not his actual big one. There's a lot more gadgets and tree behind it. <laughs> You're a bit scared. I wonder what's made you feel that way. Maybe me? I'm on board, Al. Do you see Riddler? You won't get away with this. What do you think's gonna happen? Noise again, are we? I hear him. Need to get a better angle. You'll see what's gonna happen. My friends will all be here soon. Then you'll see what this is all in aid of. You agency imbeciles really thought you couldn't stand me. Hostages. They appear to be more of Waller's agents. Agents of Vesta and Blake are likely among them, based on what Waller told us. Individuals for a good spot for cover. The agency has a history of terrible decisions. We found him. agency has been on my heels far too Your long. interrogation of Riddler's man produced solid no intelligence. No sight of the missiles yet, though. Satisfied. They must be here somewhere. Even if you're really just a small part of the plan. What are you talking about? You'll see what I mean soon. Might be angry I brought you here, but when they understand why, they'll recognize Wait for my it. <laughs> After all, I am uniquely qualified to see the big picture. Don't want him raising an alarm. I'll move when he is on people looking. see that. You think? I'm sure you can understand. I get it. Sometimes my methods can appear a little unorthodox. You brought this on yourselves. All of you, you government clods really thought you were Probably smarter than me. Then. It's clear you're in desperate Big all need of some schooling. Batarangs, disarming them. Oh. My friends will be here soon. Vesta. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online now. Ready, Bruce. Yep, here we go. Boom. Let the hostages go, Riddler. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. I'll clunk more than. Use that side of vermin. Hey, that's just rude! Batman. Got him. Batman! Agent of Vesta. Yep. The floor is Vesta. It's heating up! You need to get out of there. Thanks, Batman. Hi. Don't thank me just yet! Are you all right? Oh God, not more. He's Why is everyone resistant? Neutralizes the shock device. I've memorized your playbook, Batman. 
I know all your shallow tricks. Poor Eli held out longer than I expected, but I knew he'd give me up eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Mori. It makes me human. I heard a lot of people doing what I do. My code is how I stay human. <laughs> it's why I'm out here, and you're in there. About to meet your maker. That's so you could easily grab him and just slam him My into partners his were railings. supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's champion of justice will die in an unfair puzzle. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! Ask your questions, Riddler. Let's get this over with. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd cooperate. But I don't think the agent next to you shares your enthusiasm. You can handle the sonic blasts. But her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure, kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good. Good, Batman! You saved a life! But... Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions! No, Blake! I won't let you die! Number two. Also, completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. Don't you dare answer that! Please, don't let him die. Say it! I need an answer. Or... Click, click, click! I'll give you the answer, but only if you free us. <laughs> you don't get it. I make the rules. Not you! Please! No! Avesta, please! Please! Oh. Blake! Oh my god, Blake! Uh. Enough, Riddler. You've made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. I'll fire one of the missiles. Use the bat cam to make it target the cage. And use a Riddler's trap to protect Emon and myself from the explosion. Let's I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta. Three, but you're not two, the one I need to hear. One. Missile armed. Ready to fire. Okay, man. Who's the genius, Batman? Three. Two, Who's on top of Gotham now? One. I want to hear it from you. Me. 
I am. What are you doing? Don't you? You... You... Uh, You've had enough parking lately, Riddler. This madness sucks! Now this is gonna hurt! You've got no time left. The Riddler. I thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are I thought you'd understand I have a contingency plan. The answer plan. is Batman. And I thought you'd notice the drone that was giving off the signal. Oh, soccer kick. Here we go. Night, night. <laughs> oh, I love it. I think anchor punch would have also been fun. Don't look. Batman, I... Blake and I tracked Riddler's ship through the Port Authority logs. We thought we could bring him in ourselves. Riddler snatched us straight off the docks. I should have said no. Urged caution. And now... And now my colleagues are... All we did was hand Riddler more hostages. This isn't your fault. You can't fault. punish yourself for their loss. None of this is your fault. Thank you, Batman. Despite the cost, at least we've got Riddler in custody. Come here. Sit down. It's Let over, Riddler. You how you... <laughs> Look forward to a padded cell. Is this Lost. really a victory for you, Batman? You're the one in cuffs. Yeah, but you're the one that broke your precious rules. I did kill. You let one agent die to save another. <laughs> well, that can't sit right with you. This is a my fault. Can it? This, is this entire fault. twisted mine. situation is your doing, Riddler. All blame is on you. And so are the consequences. Is it? You came at me, remember? Not the other way around. I pushed the Batman to his limits. No, you didn't. Tested his precious code. I didn't even kill uh, them. You're the one who pressed the button. My comrades would have been impressed. I set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They, they betrayed me. I look forward to meeting these friends of yours. They're next on my list. Good. 
They deserve it. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. Nope, I think they just didn't care about you, buddy. He... he I... Lock the ship down, and radio for more medics. But... Riddler, is he... Oh, god damn it. Yeah. I hope it was worth it, Batman. Worth it. Riddler's a damn corpse. One of Waller's agents is dead. We're not getting a shred of usable testimony out of Eli Naval. Not after you scared him half to death in my custody. You went behind my back with Waller and buried the investigation in the process. This... This is beyond the goddamn pale. What were you thinking? I'm sorry, Jim. I didn't mean for this to happen. No, I'm the one who's sorry. The trust between us, it's gone. Oh, damn. Our partnership is over. No more sharing evidence. No more squad car backup. The GCPD can't support you anymore. You're being unreasonable, Gordon. You need my help protecting Gotham. If what happened at the precinct is protecting Gotham, I want no part of it. I just want to know how we got to such a messed up place. You're supposed to be the one with the answers, Commissioner. <gasps> Way I see it, Batman took initiative getting a confession from Mabel. You, on the other hand, Gordon, well, you've been two steps behind Riddler from the start. That is not fair. This mess here, that's on you. Batman's had his priorities straight, but you... No. This is my fault, and mine alone. It's not fair to let Gordon take the blame. <laughs> now you side with me. Don't do me any favors, Batman. I can look after myself. Do as he asks. Right now, we need doers, not complainers. Consider it a kindness, I don't just straight up get you demoted. Now leave us alone. We have sensitive case details to discuss. <laughs> you two deserve each other. This city don't is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a clue. Not just any clue. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You've come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits a theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Shonda, probably. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. Harley Quinn. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. What? 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 Uh, Riddle me this. Trophy and. 
You and 22.3% of players left Golden feeling betrayed. He appreciated you backing up him up in front of Waller. He was glad that you trusted him with the truth, but because you went behind his back, he feels betrayed. Didn't get the most um, things with that. You and 58.6% of players left John ecstatic at the funeral. He was hurt when you dragged him away. He was proud of himself that he chose a card you liked. He was absolutely ecstatic that you agreed to meet his friends. You and 31.3% of players left Alfred grieving. He was proud of you when you said you would bring in Riddler the lawful way. Not showing him the video of Lucius dying has left him st start grieving. He approved of your merciful interrogation of Eli. You and 38.1% of players forged a relationship with um, um, Amanda Waller that was collaborative. She was not happy when you defeated Gordon, or defended Gordon. She did not approve of your merciful interrogation of Eli, but because you decided to go um, to go to her instead of Gordon, she's looking forward to working with you. You and 77.9% of players left Tiffany furious. She was thrilled when you told her that she could help with the puzzle box. At the funeral, she was consoled when you were able to relate to her, but because you told her the truth about endangering Lucius, she now feels betrayed. You and 44.4% of players left a man guilt-ridden. She was impressed that you stood up to Rock Waller. She was sorry she angered you while asking you questions. She is full of guilt um, for having survived when her friends did not. Well, now I feel bad. Cause... Oh, there. You and 82% of players confessed to God and about Lucius and was your ally. Did you choose to visit Moria? Yep, I got the unpopular option. How did you? Yep, got the popular option. Uh, I got the unpopular option there. I just think uh, that. Yeah, I just thought that. Man. Even though for flaws, I don't think she was worth suffering that pain. I don't know. I don't know. It was a difficult situation. Uh, that's what none of the characters understand in this game. They just don't understand that you're in a difficult situation when doing it. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of this episode live stream, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.